What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I bring you guys some interesting and entertaining news about Pokemon Go. A game that's taking over the world. I'm sure that you're playing it or someone you know is playing it. Uh, for me, I still haven't tried it. I don't want to get into it right now. i got too many other things going on. But everybody I know on some level is playing this game. And apparently, even people who are supposed to be paying attention to stuff that has to do with national security are playing this game. And uh, I think on some level, <laughs> this game is really affecting people on, in ways that it really shouldn't at inappropriate times. I'll drop a link in the description. Did you get one? Reporter busted hunting Pokemon at State Department briefing. The global Pokemon Go obsession is spreading like wildfire with a reporter at the Daily State Department press briefing having been caught hunting imaginary creatures during John Kirby's attempt to outline his U.S.-led coalition's effort to confront ISIS online. Just as the State Department spokesman started his daily briefing on Thursday, touching on the global efforts to confront Islamic State online, Kirby's attention was suddenly diverted to one of the reporters sitting in the room. Right in the middle of his sentence, Kirby switched from his ISIS online propaganda campaign to an online entertainment game when he called out the reporter for playing Pokemon Go. Quote, as the secretary said earlier today, though, I think it's an important reminder, end quote, Kirby was saying when he suddenly made the comment, quote, you're playing the Pokemon thing right there, aren't you? End quote. The unidentified reporter responded, quote, I'm just keeping an eye on it, end quote. As if nothing happened, Kirby resumed his briefing saying, quote, we recognize ISIS as a challenge and we're clear-eyed about the work we still have to do, end quote. Quote, did you get one? End quote. Kirby responded after concluding his ISIS train of thought, quote, no, the signals are not very good, end quote, the reporter replied, and it remains unknown whether he was lucky over the rest of the hour-long briefing. The Pokemon Go mobile game is the latest in a series of Pokemon Company creations dating back to 96. The recently released game allows players to roam a map using the phone's GPS locations to find and catch Pokemon characters. The game has become a contagious phenomenon, forcing authorities worldwide to issue safety guidelines for sometimes careless players. Yeah, so Pokemon is taking over the State Department. It's in the White House. Hillary Clinton's talking about it. I'm sure Donald Trump is talking about it on some level. There's a time and a place for everything, guys. Um, and honestly, if I was in that, you know, that press briefing talking about ISIS and I saw somebody playing Pokemon Go, I might be a little upset because that's kind of serious. It's kind of an important topic and somebody's just gaming out. Anyway, Pokemon Go is a phenomenon. Obviously, people can't stop playing until they catch them all. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Just some funny news about how Pokemon is affecting the world. Nintendo is really balling out of control with this uh, Pokemon initiative. It's probably one of their best moves in years, and I'm actually pretty happy to see them doing well for a change. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.